So what we are going to create today is we are going to use the third person controller from the standard assets and put in our own character so that it is animating just like the Ethan avatar before. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be quick, so check it out. So in order to use third person controller for your own characters, the first thing you do is you get your own character. So you go over to the asset store and choose a character you like. You should check that it's mechanum ready. Um, that is something that sometimes it says it here in the description that it's mechanum ready, sometimes not. For this character I just know that it is. Um, it is very important because if it's not mechanum ready it will not work. So you better check that. So I import this character. I import it here. So it will show up in my folder in a minute. Then I go back to my scene and over here I also import the standard assets and standard assets characters. Import. Alright, so the standard assets have imported. So the first thing we want to do is before we import anything we want to create a little cube so that we have a floor so to say to walk on. So just import that cube and then scale it a little bit. If you don't know how to create a, a uh, cube, you should probably check out some other tutorials before you start animating your own character. So we have created our floor here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to standard assets, going to um, characters, and then third person controller, prefabs, and then third person controller right here and we drag it in. You also want to attach the camera to the third person controller so that it actually moves with it. So just take the main camera right here, position it so it is the character is very well seeable and then drag it on here and then you can already press play and you will see that the character is already moving and behaving like a normal third-person controller. However, we don't want this Ethan avatar, we want our own avatar. So I want that zombie that I just imported. So I'm going to go over here to zombie and then check out my prefab. And right here I have the prefab zombie and I'm just going to drag it in here. And uh, now what I want to do is I want to scale this up and position it so that it's right on top of Ethan. Not not on top, but right in, in place. So I'm going to do this. Alright, so I have him scaled here. It is not important that they match up 100% um, correctly. It's just that it's about in the same place. So we have that set up and the next thing what you want to do is you want to take your zombie object and just like the main character, uh, ma main camera, just uh, put it into the third person controller. And if you would have press play now, you can already see that the zombie is kind of going with Ethan. It is just staying with him. Um, so it is already adjusting the position but it's not animating yet so that that is what we're going to change now so we go to third person controller and here you have a component which is called animator and right now it's set to ethan avatar but you want to send it to your avatar in my case that's zombie enemy avatar so select that and right now if you hit play again you can already see that now Ethan stands still and uh, the zombie is animating. So now we don't need Ethan anymore, so we just select him and delete. And now we have our zombie character uh, with the third person controller. We can jump, we can, I think we can crouch, yeah. So yeah. And also, I think it would be nice to kind of adjust the camera a little bit, so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, 
All right, so we have our zombie and he's just behaving like the third person controller tells him to. 